What's up outdoorsman Greg here. We made it to Illinois. It's time to do some scouting. Made it to Southern Illinois first night. Did some scouting. Wasn't great. Uh, we found some. We found some buck sign for sure. Some rubs, some scrapes, some active scrapes. Lots of trails, lots of droppings, but nothing that really got us too excited. So we decided to skip the morning hunt, and we're gonna get another full day of scouting in. Get some more boots on the ground intel, and hopefully that will be the right choice. I think it will. this now come back and video me <laughs> all right we're scouting around this little lake trying to find some big buck sign we found lots of little buck sign but i think we just found some big buck sign finally we've been looking for a spot to set up i think we got it that's big buck poop right there anytime you see it all clumped together like that in big hunks, that's from a big buck. I found this point where the, the juts out into this lake and just as I thought, there were beds here and buck rubs. So this is definitely a buck bedding area. He would bed here on a north wind because it would be coming from the mainland to him and his back is protected by the water. Yeah, this is a good spot. All right, morning scout complete. We both found several spots we're comfortable setting up in. We'll probably come back either tomorrow or later on in the week. We'll wait for a good wind. And then the rest of the afternoon, we're gonna go try to scout a few more places. Honestly, I'd like to have five or six spots scouted out. So we're gonna spend all day scouting. the hunt this is another spot I wanted to check out this perfect little funnel created by the small little pond and then the main river that comes through here seen a few rubs some scrapes definitely some trails and tracks but nothing super exciting so but if the if the opportunity presented itself I think I would definitely hunt this spot it just sets up perfectly for the rut it was a great funnel I could shoot the whole thing. It'd be easy to hunt with my saddle, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the list.
That is the world's most aggressive beaver. That tree is two and a half foot in diameter. I could not hunt that with my saddle. Well, I could, but it would be difficult. Good Lord. They grow beavers big in Illinois. What do we see, Bobby? Zip! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. That's, that's pretty accurate. Whole lot of not much. I don't know. I might come back and hunt that spot by the river. Well, we ate lunch. I'm about to get a banana. We're going to check one more spot, and then the bottom is supposed to fall out today. They're calling for hail and rain all, all day starting at 3 o'clock. So we're going to try to get one more scout in before, before the weather hits, and then, I don't know, go and do... Go out in the blind in the morning, or what are you gonna do? I have no idea. I might, I don't know. All right, day one and a half or two, however you, however you think about it. We got here on the afternoon of the first day, and we scouted for a couple hours that afternoon. And then the first whole day here, we decided to scout all day. And since we didn't find anything that got us super pumped, we uh decided to scout one more morning so we're gonna scout this morning till lunch just after daylight we're gonna scout till lunch and then transition into hunt so hopefully hopefully we find some stuff that gets us excited and ready to ready to get in the woods this should take us all the way around the lake right where we want to go we'll see That's a big boy. That's the sign we were looking for. There is a monster using this area. Oh yeah. He's like a six point. I mean he's not as small as the one that's here. He's coming to us. Oh yeah, little spike. Yeah, so we found we found a big buck for sure there's a huge scrape and it's got fresh poop in it fresh tracks it rained last night so this he freshened it this morning the rain didn't stop till three o'clock in the morning so he freshened it after that and there's fresh poop in it that's still steaming big buck here big buck how's he climbing it get on either end then the deer that walk up and down the lake and don't use the funnel you'll see them but this spot here you would only see the deer if they use the funnel. if they use the funnel because what if that buck came down hit the scrape and then it said he'd walk in the funnel he walked up the up the other side of the lake same for there if if they're walking up the lake you wouldn't see them yeah you're right i think you're limiting yourself by hunting the funnel whereas if you hunt on the end any deer that uses a funnel, you'll see them. We have decided to go get some hip waders so we can cross the creek and uh, stop from blowing a bunch of deer out of bedding areas we found. So we're pretty much done with our half day scout anyway. We may go check one more spot, but for the most part, we're done. We'll just grab some food, some sandwiches, go grab some hip waders, and then head back out for the evening hunt. Let's go. That's it for scouting. Thank you guys for watching. Check the next video when the hunt begins. Catch you guys next time. Get outdoors.